guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to answer 10 to 15 questions so you guys will get to know me and yeah without further ado let's just get started so the first question here is what is my full name so my full name is so it is pronounced shofei like i to y shamel like z to s and Loyola Thrill. um that's my full name uh many people ask me kung saan ko daw nakuha or saan, ko, saan daw ng parents ko nakuha yung name ko um uh, diba adult no? <laughs> i'm still figuring it out yes i'm 19 i'm still figuring out what's the real meaning but um i'm sure that i asked my mom before two to three years ago and she told me nasa isang flower daw nang galing but i don't know if it's true but i searched my name on Google and I went go. But kain go mabas. And that's, I know it's not the answer. But it's starting to make sense for me because my tita is named Sophia. So maybe um dun kinuha yung parang inspiration sa name ko ng show kay. Shamal, um, I don't know kung san talaga. But yes, that's my name and you pronounce it that way because every time you meet a lot of people, they're going to ask me. Okay, what's the spelling of your name? Na kaibin ni mo ganun ganun. So guys, this is my name and it's pronounced that way. Next question is, where are you from or where were you born? Okay, I'm originally from Kalibaklan and I was also born and raised there. And I'm just staying here sa Iloilo for now because dito naga aral and I'm taking up marketing management. Further information, yeah. I'm thinking about marketing, ma ma marketing management, uh, first year student, palang, and yeah, it's going good. Okay, so next is Do you love music? Which genre is your favorite? I do love music. I listen to music all day, all day talaga. In the morning, I play music. Papuntang school, I play music. During um, pa -uwi, when I get home, I play music. So 24 7 parang ganun. I don't know, it makes me happy. Parang may kulang kasi, if it's so silent. I I'm not, I don't like kasi na sobrang, ano, parang napaka silent. It's so dull tapos for me. So yeah. And speaking about genre, I have a lot of favorite genres. Especially, okay, I love R&B. Especially throwback. 2000s, ganun. Um, Deep House. Basta yung mga chill, ganun. Um, if you want to know more about my favorite genre or types of music, this is my Spotify. So I just visited. It. Uh, I have a lot of playlists and every playlist has its own genre or mood. Okay, so next is which one is your favorite? Old school rap or today's new age rappers? Ugh. Um, I am gonna be so honest with this one. It's old rap all the way, like old talaga. Kasi it's from the legend, the old artist. Kasi when it comes to mga lyrics, um, meron talaga, grabe talaga yung impact. And I really love, I'm such an old soul when it comes to music. That's why yung iba, bakong friends, mostly um, half of my friends here also, um, matatanda and <laughs> they always are uh, they're a bit shocked kasi sa mga songs ko na piniplay every time if we're together or if I have time or if I have the chance to share music with them hindi nila inakala na I would play that song or I'm listening to that song because it's really really old na and it wasn't um, it's it was their time not mine so yeah I'm such an old soul so I'm not bashing the new rappers Today, I mean, you do, you do you, you do good, but I'm um, just that old job, you know. How old will you be turning on your next birthday? I'm turning 20 next year. Yes, no, hindi na teen, hindi na 19, hindi na 18, no teen, 20 na. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited for what's to come. You know, how's life gonna? work or role when you reach 20. I really want to know the answer. But hindi sa nagmamadali but I'm just really excited kasi it's like uh, 
excited but same time sad kasi you know welcome to adulthood ganun type of thing chinas pero yeah i'm turning 20 next year next is do you wear contacts or glasses uh i wear glasses but i would like to wear contacts someday but i'm not sure i'm still 50 50 i'm still thinking about it because I have a classmate and sinabi niya sa akin na every time she wears her contacts if hindi available yung or if nawala yung glasses niya so yun nga every time she wears contacts habang tumatagal daw humahap de so I want go I don't like kasi na parang merong something akong nafe-feel na ano mo yun masakit <laughs> ayoko nang ganun so parang based on the experience of other people wearing contacts Parang ayoko yung na yung mga naramdaman nala. Then the thing is that pare mo siya makalimutan na hindi kunin si gabi. So that's what scares me the most kasi makalimutan na kung taon. So yeah, yun. But I'm still 50 50. I want to, I really want, I'm looking forward to buy one. But siguro I will wear it for special occasions only and la for ano lang, etchos etchos ganun. But. Wearing my glasses is a yes for me. I wear my glasses when I attend class only and kapag pumupunta ako ng mall, tsaka mayroon ako yung nahanap na specific item. So, sinusot ko siya. But every time if I walk, no, I don't. Because I have social anxiety. And ayaw kong may nakikita kong mga taong nakatingin and self-conscious. Parang, what? Meron bang ano something sumaka or ganun. So, I only wear my glasses when I'm attending class and kinukuha ko siya after class and then sinusuot ko lang siya if kailangan ko suotin if I really need uh, you know a helping hand ganun. So what is your perfect pizza topping? Oh. Okay, let's talk about pizza. So to be specific, yung pinaka favorite kong flavor of pizza is Hawaiian and yes, I do believe that pineapple really goes well with ano, pizza. I am such a big fan of pineapple and pizza combined together. Sobrang grabbing setup ng pag combine ng flavors, and I just love it so much. It's my favorite. And don't hate me, it's gonna be weird if I say na ah, meaning ko na my least favorite is pepperoni pizza. I don't know why. Well, some of my friends find me weird because I like the pineapple on pizza and the pepperoni pizza itself. I don't know why, but that's my least favorite pizza. I can eat pineapple, but it's not really like bet na bet ko that I just want to eat it and I'm craving for it now. Unlike Hawaiian pizza, I'm... Gosh, I'm, I'm not craving for one. Next is Jerry Books. Yes, I do read books and I'm into books talaga. I started reading books when I was 13. Yeah. Basta mga ganong age. I started reading books because of Wattpad. You know, you know, you know, I know you know about Wattpad. It all started there. And every time na uh, mag-end yung class ko and on weekends, all I do is mga stories na nakikita ko and then I'm just gonna read it. A day or two, matatapos ko yung isang libro. Kasi you know, Wattpad books before, online books, um, hindi siya gaano kahaba. It's just, like, mga ganito kakapal if it's gonna be converted into book. Ganun. Mga ganito siyang kapata, kakapal if may yung libro siya. So, ayun. Sobrang adik ko na buong araw na lang nagbabasa. Wala nang ginagawa. Basa nang basa lang. But, this kind of obsession uh, turned me into a book lover because you know I want to make a change somehow. Ang isip ko na why not try reading an actual book talaga na, na hold ko and yun, um I just want to have my own collection of books. I started collecting books. Um, it um, nagbubisa ako sa mga pocket books, mga maliliit na books uh, of what pad. And then until na tinay kong bumili na mga you know mas makakapal na books like 
uh, of some best uh, authors right now. So, sobrang adik ko sa libro. The best part of buying a book, like when you open the book, oh my gosh, the smell. I really, 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 I'm really, really obsessed with the smell. Na ka satisfy siya for me. For ako kasi mahilig ako maamoy ng mga scent, especially when it comes to air fresheners. Sobrang adik ko sa air fresheners. That's my weird fetish, smelling air fresheners. Yes, I know it's weird, but yeah, whatever. But ayun, sa libro, I really, really love smelling the scent of new books. I don't know why, but if you get me, girl, same. Do you love your work and is this your dream work? Yes, I do love my work and my work right now is this, which is YouTube. And I really love it so much because I've been dreaming to do this since I was 13 years old. Way, way back pa talaga. I was so, so young that time. All started because I was really addicted on watching makeup tutorials. And I abutan ko pa nga nun yung kailang YouTuber na si Michelle Fon, but hindi na siya YouTube ngayon. But yeah, I was a really, 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 really big fan of her. And I got inspired. I really want to start uh, YouTube before pa. I would even record myself doing my makeup, but I always end up not having the full confidence to post it online because I'm really scared of people bashing or what people what other people might say ganun. I was really young that time so I wasn't ready for all of those things. So I was self gonna it's okay, don't rush. You know, you have a lot of time. You have a lot of time ahead pa and it's okay if you're not gonna do it now. But that thing talaga yung araw na magawa mo. And that's today. Naisip ko, it's, I think it's the right time for me to do what I'm really passionate about. And at the same time, I'm really happy and I'm not regretting anything when I, you know, do what I want to do. Napag-isipan ko na, why not try, you know? And I have a lot of friends, family supporting me throughout this journey and I'm so happy with it. And I'm really motivated about it because I don't just have one. I have a lot of people who supports me, who guides me, and who motivates me to do the work that I, I am passionate about. So yeah, and I'm really happy to share everything with you guys. Yeah, I'm really happy to share my knowledge about something when it comes to beauty when it comes to lifestyle it comes to fashion everything i'm just i really want to share not only when it comes to um the beauty uh, stuff but also i really want to influence and motivate young girls women like me to be out there just do what you love just do what you love so yes guys i think that's it for this video hope to see you on my next video bye that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. No, 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 no. She messed with the temperature. Heart wrote the song, but I am the messenger. Through the metropolis, there is no stopping this.